from Jermaine oh, I did. Franklin. You know, I've heard about his sparring. I've spoken to people. I know how good he is. I know how tough he is. There's a lot of pressure on Dillian White tonight. You know, obviously new trainer as well. And like I said, I feel like he had to revert to tight in the championship rounds to win the fight. And uh, I thought Franklin boxed very well. In terms of his new style, you say you mentioned they're trying to block the upper and things like that. Do you see an improved performance tonight in comparison to one that blocks Tyson Fury? Uh, it's just difficult when you get to that stage of your career to start trying new things and doing new things. Like the thing that's always made Dillian so effective is his ruggedness and his toughness. You know, and it, that's what won him the fight in the end. If he would have kept the style that he adopted at first. <laughs> seven or eight rounds, he might not have won the fight. And you know, he had to be gritty and, and put it out of the bag in the late rounds. How likely do you think it will be for Dillian to go against Anthony Joshua? Has AJ given you any indication? Yeah, on, AJ was watching the fight, saying that I'll fight either of these guys, he'll fight anyone. And that remains a massive fight, not just for British boxing, yeah. but for world boxing. And um, whether that's in February or March or June, July, I, I feel like it'll be one of those. You mentioned the size of that fight. Does that fight still do a stadium? Or yeah, AJ does a stadium against you. We make that fight if not. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jermaine has any sort of back to say? No, no, you know, going, going, I've looked at Dan Raphael, like, oh, all these gents, it's not a robbery at all. It's a very close fight that could have gone either way. I feel like it's 115, 113 with Dillian White. If that's the case, I could see a draw. Could I see 115, 113 to Franklin? Not really, but maybe. But you know, I don't think a draw is a terrible small part, you know what I'm saying? But I gave Dillian White 10, 11, 12. I certainly gave him at least three rounds in the first nine. So if I'm giving him four out of the first nine plus the 10, 11, 12, which he won unquestionably, yeah. he wins the fight 115, 113. But when it's 115, 113, people can score either way. But robbery is a joke. Anyone that says that's a robbery is a of shit, in all honesty. Because you can't, if you're giving a guy three rounds, 10, 11, 12, what they're saying is he didn't win two or three rounds. And so even if you gave him only two of those rounds, it's 115, 113. So what? The other way is a robbery. So the thing is, people just start scoring fights differently. And during the fight, they start getting on the underdog. And thinking, oh, what do you want to lose? another round to Frank. Very close to us. Given that we've heard from Dillian that the ambition is to get back to championship fight, why is AJ the fight to make? Do you think that fight will have intrigue regardless of what stage they're in the career? Yeah, I just, I mean, why, why I want to make that fight is it's fucking massive. It's two votes from London, it's 1 1. I don't think you like it, it's just a massive So when you look at the potential opponents for Anthony Joshua, there's only two fights in boxing that are bigger than AJ against the Union. And that's AJ against Tyson Fury and AJ against Deontay Wilder. Other than that, that's the biggest fight out there. So of course I want to make it. Like I want to make the other two as well. Sorry? No, I'm talking about four AJ. Fury Usyk is nowhere near as big as Fury AJ. And nowhere near as big as AJ Wilder. Either. It's a great fight, but it's just not. Did you mention any potential opponents for Dillian? You just fought Tyson, AJ Fox there, Wilder Ruiz is lined up, Fury Usyk for next year is lined up if he comes past Derry. In terms of top level names, it's only naturally that AJ and maybe Joe Joyce aren't there. Is there anyone else you'd throw in there? Philip Hergovich, C. Lazen, Otto Wiley. I mean, there's four or five guys out there, Dillian one, but you know, it all depends on who, he, who he's ready to fight, who he wants to fight. Uh, but he'll, he'll fight anyone, anyway, but you know, certainly there's three names that will work with. I know you're here already, but over, over, over at the O2, I'm sure you've heard about John Lloyd as well. I mean, I don't know, all I heard was he was controlling the fight, wearing him down, and then I think Ryder hurt, uh, Ryder hurt his hands. Unbelievable. I've already texted him right now, so I said, come on, let's do it. Our Emirates would be. He's the official mandatory challenger for Canelo. Canelo wants to fight in UK. I mean, how special would that be to bring Canelo over into London? Be unbelievable, so we'll see. Eddie, how realistic is that fight to make? Because obviously Canelo's made it quite clear he wants to go after Dimitri Bivol again. In September, though, yeah, yeah. So he's already said that September he'd like to fight Bivol and then try and have a, a, a warm up fight, but a different fight earlier on. I think John Ryder in London would be fantastic, so we'll see. Eddie, a bit more confident before the fight, and I know you couldn't fight, but you were more confident that it would be after this fight for the winner. Um, what's changed? Still could. It just depends how long he's. Out. You know, if he wants to go in March, or he wants to go in the summer, depends if we want to do that as a stadium, and we don't want to do it when it's freezing cold, like next week. Um, 
and yeah, I haven't changed my mind. I can still very much do that next. Yeah. I, mean, I, great, I, I knew he was a good fighter, but he, what surprised me was his toughness. Like, he took a lot of hammer to the body, he took a, quite a lot of shots, and I, thought, I think he's an outstanding fighter. Really good. I think, I think Chef Clark is going to breeze through the domestic guys, and I think he's going to be in some massive fights, and I don't think he's far away. I think he's explosive, he's dangerous, he's excited, and I think he's got a big future. Just, just away from this call, uh, they announced you back to Smith's pay-per-view. Is that fair to do? Yeah, everyone's moaning about it being pay-per-view, but I know what both guys are getting paid. And you can't pay them that money without pay-per-view. The fans are saying, don't pay them that money then, but you either don't make the fight or you make the fight. It's just going to get very hard now to keep asking people to pay more money and more money and more money. So you have to give more value for money than ever. Last one. Eddie. Unbelievable fight. I mean, that's a real old school British heavyweight title fight. Fabio's going to be a big star. You know, he punches very hard, he's excited, he's still learning. But that was a great win for him tonight. Sorry? Uh, Sandy Ryan, great fight, great performance. Pat McCormack will be disappointed, but it's okay. You can learn that. No, he ain't coming back either. <laughs> but you, know, you can't just just go in there and beat everyone up. You've got to learn. Mark Dickinson tried a little bit too hard. Was a great part. Chef Clark, great performance. George Lillard is going to be a really big star for the future. Good win by Thomas Carlin. Great loss. Will Sandy Brown fight for world title in 2023? Definitely, 100. percent I mean, she could fight for world title now, but because of the belts and everything, it's likely she'd have one more. Thank you.